quick word on the slow and Stevens. She was in action today, the first. It looked like for the opponents, might be very difficult to play against her because she doesn't show like she's making any effort. And the opponents, they make so many mistakes, and she just go like if she's on the park. Looks like, very like, relaxed out very, there. Very. Uh, the ball goes so fast out of her racket. Don't yeah. you feel like when you play someone and you see that the ball goes fast and it comes to you quickly and you are like, okay, I'm making so much effort and my ball goes so slow and the other one has come so fast. Maybe it didn't happen to you because you were boom, boom. But I was like, ah, trying to hit as hard as I can and the ball went like. So maybe this. What I would like Alex to follow up with here is to explain why Sloane can play like that. Let's take a closer look at her racket. We can see that she's got four strips of lead tape of about 15 centimeters in length at the sides of the racket. This adds to about 6 grams of lead tape. From a different perspective, we can see that she's also got lead tape underneath the bumper guard on the top of the hoop. This amounts to about 7 grams additionally on the top of the hoop. Now let's do some quick calculations here with the help of this racket. Like I said, she puts some lead tape on the side and underneath the bumper guard on the top. Now on the sides she puts about 6 grams of lead tape which adds up to about 12 points of swing weight increase. The lead tape on the top weighs about 7 grams and this adds up to about 21 swing weight points. Now her stock racket has to have a swing weight of at least 320 I think and when we add all this together we get a number higher than 350 swing weight and this is a really high swing weight especially for the VTA too. On average women just don't play with such high swing weights. And this is what makes slow and be able to play like Alex mentioned before. To learn more about swing weight and tennis equipment, please check out my webpage at impactingtennis.com.